Hi, I'm Re from mummyof4.com. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am sharing my favorite, my all-time must-have cleaning products to make your life easier. Now, I've actually split this video into two parts, and this is part one, purely because otherwise it would be a really long video. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about all the reusable cleaning products, the things that you buy once, you keep forever, use and use and use, then in part two will be more of the consumable things, the things you're gonna to have to refill and rebuy in order to keep your house clean and tidy. If you're new here, I'd love it if you would subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. I do loads of speed cleaning content. I do favorites videos, including monthly favorites, and then things like this, my cleaning favorites, and lots of other favorites coming in my favorite series. I do vlogs, shop with me, haul videos, all that kind of thing. I hope you will enjoy it all. So my first favorite cleaning product is this caddy. This cleaning caddy plus everything else I mentioned in this video is linked in a blog post which is below and you can also find up in the cards. Now this caddy I bought from Amazon, I believe it is linked in that blog post, but the stickers I got in a B&M haul and this actually came in a pack of stickers. So this one says cleaning. There were various other stickers that I stuck on other things around my house, but it's really handy. It's a nice deep caddy and I can carry things around easily. I also use loads of baskets around my home for cleaning, tidying, and organizing. It doesn't really matter which baskets you use, but try and get ones that stack within each other. So buy the same basket over and over. I use those for laundry, and I'm not actually gonna talk about laundry products in this video. That would be a whole other topic for a separate video, but I use those for sorting laundry, but also for cleaning and tidying around my home and moving things from room to room for where they need to go. So make sure you've got a few little baskets gets to hand so you can move things around as you're cleaning and tidying. My next essential must-have cleaning product are microfiber cloths. Now you can buy these in large packs. The ones that I've got are linked in that blog post. You can't have too many of these things because you can use them for everything. I have these stored in my kitchen. I keep some in my bathroom as well as in my cleaning caddy, which I actually keep upstairs in a high up box in my bedroom. Just so whenever I see that there is something that needs cleaning, that needs a quick wipe around, maybe it's a skirting board, maybe it's the surfaces, whatever it might be, I've got a cloth to hand. Now these microfiber cleaning cloths are great even if you use no chemicals for just wiping things round. You need to make sure you avoid using fabric softener when washing these because because they stop them from being absorbent. And then obviously you wash them on a nice hot wash and sanitize them with your chosen product when you wash them. But then once they are hot washed and sanitized, you can use them again and again and again. Years ago, I used to use so much kitchen roll. It was expensive, it was not good for the environment. And since I switched to these, I just haven't looked back. I've had these cloths for years and years and years and they're still going really, really well. So if you're gonna make a little investment in your cleaning supplies, microfiber cloths have gotta to go top of that list. My next favorite product I'm going to share with you is this Sonic scrubber. It's basically like an electric toothbrush with various heads for cleaning your house. So you've got this bit, which is like your family toothbrush thing, and then you clunk on whichever heads you need to use and you go for it. Now that is much easier than, you know, scrubbing because it does all the for you. It's really, really good. So we've got this one for kind of in little hard to reach places and grout and things. We've got this kind of wider, slightly softer brush. This one's a bit more abrasive and then this larger brush. So if you need to kind of get in there with tiles, around the plug hole in your sink, in the drains, all that kind of thing, these heads are fantastic and this sonic scrubber it kind of makes doing cleaning jobs just a bit more fun if i'm honest but also just so much easier so it's good for like cleaning inside the drawer of your washing machine that kind of thing now these brush heads i just bung them in the dishwasher to be honest the dishwasher is really great for cleaning your cleaning products same with the washing machine because you can wash things nice and hot you can get things really sanitized the other thing i do is i leave them in some Zoflora or other disinfectant just to make sure that all the germs and nasties are off the brush heads. And then I make sure they are nice and dry before I pop them back in a little pot 
in my cleaning caddy. My next absolute favourite reusable cleaning product is my Vileda 1-2 spray. This is a floor cleaning device. I've got two of these kind of mop heads I guess they are they're like cleaning pads that attach to the bottom of the Vileda 1-2 spray you can fill it up with whatever you want to fill it up with so I've either used diluted Zoflora or some method floor cleaner but again I will go in detail with the kind of those more reusable cleaning products in that next video but all I do is I've got one on and one in a wash like you know I like to do one to use one as a backup so one clean one will be on the Vileda and then when that one goes in the washing machine which again I wash with sanitizer and on nice and hot the same way I do my cloths then the clean one will go on so I've always got a mop head pad thingy ready to clean the floors. It's just such an easy way to clean the floors. I don't even own a proper mop and bucket anymore. I use it for cleaning the laminate and the tiles. It's so easy. Now if you've seen some of my cleaning videos where I've been using my Bileda 1-2 spray, you'll know that it doesn't really make the floor soggy, like soaking wet like a mop would, but obviously it does wet the floor. And I like to use my mop socks, which go over my socks or my shoes and just stop me leaving like actual footprints all over my freshly cleaned floor. Now my teenager thinks these are ridiculous and embarrassing and I think they're cool because in, in my late 30s, and this kind of thing makes me happy. So let me know, mop socks, cool or sad? Obviously, cool is the answer, right? And aren't you just jealous that you don't have mop socks like this? Well, there is a link in that blog post if you absolutely need them, they come in a pack of three, and they're just amazing. You know, who doesn't wanna wear these all the time? I wanna wear them. My next top pick is my tile scrubber, an extendable tile scrubber, which makes cleaning the bathroom loads easier. It's got a pad brush with a kind of angled edge which makes it easy to get into the corners and more than anything it just stops you breaking your back because you can reach to high or low places in order to clean and scrub your tiles with less effort and back pain. Now from the same cleaning family, I think my cleaning products live in families, the same cleaning family as my tile scrubber, I've got these little scrubbing brushes which are a similar type of kind of product to my sonic scrubber stuff but these are a different shape and I just use them for different things so again they're just like toothbrushes but for cleaning but bigger ones this one has got like a, a pokey end what's the official term for that a tapered end for getting gunge out of things I just like to have a variety of tools to hand for whatever cleaning job I'm doing and then whatever the muck that presents itself I've got the right tools for the right job and it just makes whatever I'm trying to clean that bit easier so sometimes I don't need to go for the full-on sonic scrubbing I can just go around with these and then it also means if all these are in the dishwasher or are being sanitized I've got these as kind of backup brushes my next product you might think is a random pick because we do not have any pets and it is a pet fur hair remover now how this works is you clean along like this and it gathers up pet fur or indeed we may not have pets but I have really hairy family we've all got quite long hair other than my husband who has quite short hair even my boys have got like long-ish hair it's long enough to gunk up a vacuum cleaner I'll tell you that much so this you just kind of brush it along things like the stairs and it's amazing how much hair it can actually pick up. So you can do the stairs really quickly without even bothering to get out the vacuum cleaner. With this, it's just a really quick job. You can use it on things like your sofas, but you can also use it to like de-lint clothes of fluff and things. So that is a really good product. So, I mean, especially if you've got actual pets and all you do in order to clean it out is you just put it in, pull it back out. It cleans all the gunk off and then the gunk collects in the gunk collecting chamber. That's the official term for it at the end. My next handy pick that I love, oh, excuse me the pun there, I didn't do that on purpose, is this glove. <laughs> and this is for cleaning things like blinds. They're really good. It's just like a fluffy cloth, but because it's hand shaped, you can kind of get in there for those hard to reach places, you know? So things like blinds are really, really easy to clean. So have you got a cleaning glove? And if not, do you need one in your life? Be honest. I mean, you do, don't you? 
need a fluffy cleaning glove in your life. Absolutely. Oh, forgot another one of these brushes from the brush family. This is another OXO brush, just a much larger one. And then this is a pink scrubbing brush. So sometimes these are good for tiles and things for larger areas. You just never know when you might need one of these. They're good for quite stubborn dirt. They're reasonably abrasive, so they're not for kind of soft or easily damaged surfaces. But if you've got something pretty stubborn that needs cleaning, these are pretty good. This one I picked up in B&M just because it was pretty and pink and this one is from Amazon is linked in that blog post. Next topic is the minky pad. Now I've got a bit of a an on-off relationship with these. Sometimes I think they're great and I love them and I use them loads and other times not so much. I quite like the grey one and the bathroom one because they are not abrasive at all. This one I've barely used. I bought it because it was pink and I love pink. But to be honest, the bathroom and the kitchen ones with the fluffier side that I feel can't scratch my surfaces, I feel safer having around just in case by some miracle, another member of my family was to pick one up and start cleaning something with it. And it's unlikely, it's probably not something I should worry about. But if case that happened, then they wouldn't grab the abrasive side and use it for scratching things. So minky pads, sometimes I love them, I go through phases of them, sometimes not so much. Where do you stand with them? The biggest issue with them is you're not really supposed to put them in the washing machine and sometimes they come out a bit misshapen and I still do put them in the washing machine even though they sometimes come out misshapen. So I don't know, where do you stand on these? I'm on and off with them. One thing I do actually love is the fluffy head duster. And you know what? My children love these too. If I am ever cleaning, they're like, mummy, can I help? But as long as I can have one of those dusters, they just think it's the most fun thing to do in the world ever. It's a nice way to get your children in involved with cleaning. They don't have to use any products or any chemicals. They can't do too much damage with these things. I mean, they can clonk each other with them, but they can't do too much damage. They can get involved. They're probably not going to do an amazing job. They're going to miss the corners and things, but at least it's a good way to encourage them. Have a bit of fun cleaning together and it's just an easy way to get it done with something that kind of looks like a Muppet hair head. How could that not be fun? Best thing about these, like the cloths, they just go chucked in the washing machine. Easy as that and then you can use them again. The next reusable products that I love having in the house are reusable spray bottles. Now I've got one that I use for diluted, so flora, and I have a few of those and I have the same spray bottle so that my family identify that that's what it's for. I mean, you could always label your spray bottles. That's probably quite a sensible thing to do. In fact, I do have a label maker. Why have I not labeled my bottles? Maybe I need to. Then I have another type of spray bottle that I use and recognize as a fabric refresher spray bottle. But if you are using your own cleaning products or you're buying things in larger quantities, it is nice to have nice pretty spray bottles to put them in. My next cleaning favorite is my dish matic. It's so great. It's so much easier for getting the gunk off dishes and also for cleaning the sink. Now we do have a dishwasher, but lots of things need a little bit of pre-washing, pre-getting the gunk off before they go in the dishwasher. But I just like to use the dish matic for going around the sink. Now the heads do not last forever so the heads are going to have to go into the next video which are the refillable consumable parts but the dish matic itself that fills up with washing up liquid in order to wash things in your sink or indeed you can use them for around your home for cleaning other things is a must have reusable product. Then vacuum cleaner wise I have a cordless Dyson which is really quite old now. Years and years old. It's older than Zara. Is it as old as Bella? Is Zara called cordless Dyson somewhere between four and six years old I think it is quite old and the battery was going really dodgy on it but my husband did replace the battery and it is lasting a lot better now and the question is is it worth upgrading to a newer cordless vacuum cleaner will it be that much different I don't know which cordless vacuum cleaners do you use how do you find the batteries and would you recommend the one you have because I do love a cordless vacuum cleaner for just doing a quick whiz around just for like little two minute jobs when you want to just clean as you go rather than doing a big clean. For doing a big clean I do have the Shark Corded vacuum cleaner that I was kindly gifted previously quite a long time ago now, last year maybe? It is a great vacuum cleaner, it does its job really really well but I do find that I use a cordless vacuum cleaner on a daily basis. I vacuum something with a cordless vacuum cleaner every single day just because 
I use those in between minutes for cleaning up little messes as they go. Whereas the core did vacuum cleaner gets used a lot less because it's more of a, a cleaning event, you know, where I've got a block of time in order to clean. So those are the vacuum cleaners I've got at the moment. Do you have either of those or do you have newer versions? And what are your vacuum cleaning recommendations? I'd love to know in the comments. So what are your top picks for reusable cleaning products? My top picks for consumable cleaning products are over here in part two. So check out that video next. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos. So check out part two or one of the other videos around my head. I shall see you guys very soon. Bye.